Welcome to our second presentation at Bauinformation. We already did a German presentation, so I'm happy to present you today the English version of it. My name is Hannes Rolandres and I'm from BIM Squared. And today's topic is Rethink Construction, the added value through work preparation and the construction side through the digital formwork planning. We have the topic today, BIM Squared, what is the company about? What are they doing? The second topic is digital now. What is about the digitization? Uh, what are the digital approaches and what, how is the construction industry doing here? Then I would like you to introduce you a little bit to our Mavit software as an example for automation in construction. And at and the last point is BIM to field. How is the design value added to the construction site. We are a small startup, a contact uh, at the edge of the Black Forest. We have uh, our products clustered in three parts, Mavid Wall, Mavid Slab and Mavid Manage. Furthermore, we don't have any software without implementation services, so we offer Revit and Mavit training, software and administration, and we also modeling products in Revit. I just introduced my name, but here are some additional information for me. So I started my career as a draftsman and I was continually, continuously working in the construction industry. Uh, in quite different fields and very passionate about it. And today I'm working intensively in the topic of construction management, formwork and BIM2 field. So that is about the hard facts, about BIM squared, about the company. Now I would like you to get you a little bit into the topic of digitization. And therefore I brought a small question with me. Does digitization exist? I think there's a world market for maybe five computer. This is what Thomas Watson said. He was one of the most important men in that time, the head of IBM, the CEO of IBM. However, he said that quote in 1943. To be fair to him now, the computers weren't looking like that. They rather looked like that. So we experience in the picture a significant change of things going on. And this is just uh, proof for a lot of facts that are right now going on. For instance, 500 million tweets are sent per day. 240 uh, 294 billion emails are sent every day. Four petabytes of data are created on Facebook. Four terabytes of data are generated from each connected vehicle. And we are here just at the beginning of the IoT, of the Internet of Things for cars and also for smart homes, etc. Uh, 65 billion messages are sent on WhatsApp, and this is just a small portion of the global used messengers. 5 billion searches uh, are performed, and this is just a significant benchmark for Google. But what about the status quo in construction? How are the guys on site uh, doing? So how is our industry doing? So we have a very, very low degree of digitization as stated here in this McKinsey statistic next to me. Uh, we see, we find ourselves on the second last spot right before agriculture, agriculture and hunting. So basically this is very, very, poor performance. However, it's highlighting the digital percent potential that we are having. The second key fact that I want to show you is the very low productivity. We have a raise in productivity of approximately 1% in the last 20 years, whereas the normal economy 
have around 2.4 and the manufacturing 3.6. So these are quite this is quite interesting seeing that other industries are able to raise their performance much more than the construction industry. And the last statistic that I bring with me, so the last hard facts of today, is the growing interest in the industry. This is a very actual statistic from the Bauma showing that things like the digitization, IoT, building information link, have a really growing interest in the building industry. So to sum all of these up, we have a very low performance. We have digital potential to solve that. Plus, we have a growing interest in the industry to really make that work. And this is how I personally think we can raise the efficiency for temporary components like formwork, but also, of course, like for other parts of the AC industry. First of all, we really have to raise the efficiency and the quality of the construction design. And then we have to transfer the added value that comes from the design to the construction site where this is actually needed. And last but not least, we have to optimize the industry attitude, the industry nature for the construction industry to really work more as a partnership to really make the first both points work. So we already discovered that there is a lot of potential and that it's might good to have construction design that has a high quality and to bring that to the site. In the next category, we will have an example for how to raise the productivity in the design phase. And this is the product that I just mentioned, uh, Mevit. I would like you to introduce you a little bit into our concept. So what were we thinking when we optimize the, optimize the design, the formwork design in part steps? First of all, the key fact it's made by technicians, Fortis technicians. So we try really to implement how technicians work and take that workflow and try to optimize part of it. Of course, the overall goal, the ultimate goal is to increase the design efficiency. So this is a target, increase the design efficiency by raising the quality. So we wanna have a high quality in the design, showing all components, showing all uh, attributes, all parameters that are needed to add it to the certain element. The next part of the Mevit concept is one of the, as I think, significant ones. It's showing the open innovation. Open innovation means we let all our users participate in the coding process. So all of them can actively take part of the development. Meaning is we have like a platform where everyone can vote, upvote certain changes and features that he or she wishes added to the software. And then there is a very transparent process to see how this is going to be implemented. So overall, this increases the transparency in our software. The next fact is manage. We want to manage our design efficiently. Therefore, we have a stock quantity, um, performance measurement, so we can create a maximum part list and we can export that part list into Excel. And then we have an intelligent content, a content that works manually as well as part automated and a content that is showing the 3D information as shown on the left side as well as the 2D information. So a plan can be made out of the overall formwork model's design. But how does that work in practice? Let's take a quick look. I just tried to share my screen. And this is working successfully. So I just prepared a very small plan, some basic walls and go to our Mavid wall plugin. We can select certain 
formwork elements, formwork systems uh, that are going to be extended. We can select in properties. Um, we can select to, to use large size panels or not. Uh, certain element placements and options for the individual elements like the alignment rail and also what's going to be the stop and bracket look like. Then, and this is basically for the concept that I just showed, we start to put the edges of the formwork to the wall. Very simple, I'm just using the same command for all situations. Then in the next step, we are using the forming design to give the formwork between the several edges that we just modeled. We call that pod wall types over here. It's a very basic command, very easy to apply, and the design is overall easy to manipulate if certain solutions are or need to be improved by the individual. So this is the design, visible in 3D. However, we have the possibility now to review the same design we just did in 2D. So this is what I just said as, a, as another benchmark of what we are trying to do. We have a good quality of the design here. And we also have our commands to improve the design in a manner that we can display it on a plan. All of the design is mirrored also here in the part list. So the part list is displaying exactly the same components that are just modeled and provide the quantity to the engineer and later on to sales and procurement. All of that can be easily exported also in several cycles to calculate the total quantity to obtain the total quantity list to really uh, get the maximum material aligned. We also um, have some solutions for towers, like here the MEP or the MT60. But now I would like to close that short presentation and go back to our PowerPoint slides. and show you some original modeled projects like here. Um, a very a real life example, not so much of uh, the optimization could apply it here because it's a very individual structure. However, it's nice to see how Revit can provide here certain inputs. To break that down, we have very individual components that are all placed together. This is very much of the special formwork. We see here 450 pretty much accurate plant um, designs that are placed together to obtain an overall design for that project. So, and this is basically also the big, big value we're modeling in 3D, like the project before, uh, elements can show that are rather complex, mm, pretty much better illustrated than real world in 2D and also in 3D. Here with two different cycles. And this is a very big project that we, where we supported our partner may find the acquisition phase where we modeled the front building here. And I would like to show you now how we applied Mavit overall here with an unbeatable performance with a huge, huge quantity of components and also with 170 individual cycles. And all of this modeled 
parts were put into Nevisworks from Revit directly into Nevisworks to give an impression of the overall building. Down here, we have like a, a time frame provided with the start and the end. And we have, a, we have um, beyond, the, beyond the planned details, we also have the uh, real details. So this gives us here an option in, in Nevisworks to give them a kind of a site supervision to really give the building an overall impression and overall sketch you to, to rather do a site management with that. And this is basically continuing for all the many, many floors that are modeled here in the building. And as you might see, the performance is still pretty good and could can work very, very well in that whole big building. So I now would like to continue the presentation again. We just had the live demonstration and after seeing, let give you some impression about the planning tool. What does the planning tool do? Where is it maybe limited? Where can we like manually solve certain elements and provide an, a very, very high quality design with only the intelligent content and not even with a part automation and where is the part automation? Uh, very, very important. So I hope I gave you an overall impression about it. There are a lot of other key effects I don't want to show in super deep. However, what is a quite important point to me is the BIM to field approach. So BIM to field, how does this design impact also the execution phase? And therefore I brought that picture. We also executed this project with our partner MIFA. However, the overall client was Basler Hoffman and the executing company was Marty. And this is how the overall model looked like, the complete model looked like, modeled from uh, mainly Basler Hoffman, but also some other important stakeholders from Basler Hoffman company. For us, we don't need the overall model so much, so we just could extract the relevant information for us and build our own model where we reference the formwork modeling on looking like that. So we have a detailed modeling over here. I just can probably with the content. However, we have also information that are working in the background for the overall 3D design. Overall, we have the cycles. So we have several cycles. We have a few per cycle. This is very important and will be uh, reappear later on. Plus we have components. So we have on the components level certain um, parameters that are sh that could provide uh, certain informations. So this is how the overall formwork model looked like. And now we have the big, big challenge to transfer that model on site. And I personally see three big values in it. The first value is the transparency. So we can increase the transparency tremendously by discussing in 3D. For instance, here, here we have a pipe system sitting in the slab formwork uh, of, the, of the ground plan. And we have our formwork, which is anchored, um, and we have the heavy support frames, like pressing the loads on the pipe systems. And if this is gonna be planned accurately in 3D, in the design phase, it's gonna be executed easier in the real execution phase later on. So this is basically the first value provided from a BIM to field approach. 
The second value is the simulation. Showing here is a, is a holistic simulation, also done in Nevisverk's holistic. Why? Because we are showing here the concrete works, the from Basler Hoffmann modeled reinforcement in a quite good detail, and a formwork system from MEFA. So this provides a holistic execution plan. And this is the proof for the real picture. The, this was really how that slab looked like. And this is basically our second benchmark, our sec second value. This is the simulation. The third uh, value is the availability, which was, which was the unique uh, USP of that project. As you can see here on the picture, uh, everything was uh, was provided to the site via tablet. So there was no single paper plan used on the overall site. And this is why Basler Hoffman received the Autodesk Excellent Award in Las Vegas for their effort. From a formwork perspective, this looks like like uh, provided on the picture. So we had several 3D views providing each view a cycle. Remember, we just saw that before in the Revit. So all the Revit views are mirrored now on the tablet and contain all relevant information needed for the circuit cycle. Element information can, can be obtained from the tablet. Also dimension lines can be, can be uh, drawn in the model to obtain certain dimensions if they are needed. And this is how the overall model looked like, the overall value model for the formwork design. So we have an availability with a with a schedule and a transparency that pro is really provided to site and is providing a value for the error free execution. And this is finally the picture behind that story. However, there is on one side the technology perspective. On the other side, there is still the people on site and in the office making such, such approaches work. And this is basically also our idea for the future and to have optimized design processes, part optimized design processes and capable engineers and capable humans on site to perform the work and the engineering design in a new manner. And this is basically the overall presentation. We introduced or I introduced BIM to feel BIM squared quickly. We already had a few on digital now. Are we in the digitization? Yes, we are. Is the construction industry doing well with that? Hmm. Yes, we have to improve a little bit. Uh, a very interesting example, our product Mavit for optimization of the design or optimization in part steps of the engineering design and how the engineering design can be converted to a site to really obtain value on the construction site. Now I would also like our partner MEFA to place their new MEFA Me app inside the presentation. It is quite a nice approach to see their products in 3D and AR and to get a lot of more information about Formberg in general, about MEFA in general, news about the industry, links to certain platforms. So this is quite a very nice approach for MEFA to do that and I can just recommend to download it and just to explore all the new functions provided by yourself. It is of course available in the Google Play Store and also in the App Store from Apple. I would also like to invite you for a free testing of the MEFA product 
just contact uh, me or a company address, take a look at our website, and many, many thanks for the presentation. It's a great platform here provided from Bau Information. I appreciate the new invitation and would like to contact, to receive contacts at any time. Thank you.